Yeah, we're in Lincoln, Nebraska, home of the Cornhuskers. It's great. You want to walk around cobblestone streets, cool old buildings, cool little quaint shops, restaurants. This is kind of the epicenter here of Lincoln, Nebraska. This is what holds everything together. All right, my first Nebraska wine. Who would have thought Nebraska and wine? You know what? I'm done with Napa Valley. From Silver Creek Hills Vineyards. <laughs> it's like oaky. Yep. It is aged in oak about a year. Oh. Josh and Peter in the <laughs> studio this morning. Welcome, boys. Hello, hey, hello, hey, hey. hello. Hey, have you ever seen Dumb and Dumber? You and I'll be like, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> Dumb and Dumber? Never heard of it. I'm just hugging my friend on the back of his scooter with a wagon attached to the back. <laughs> now, when you left Los Angeles, how much money did you have in your pocket, and what do you have left? No, I had probably credit card debt. A credit card debt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Are you staying the night here in Lincoln? Yeah, we're gonna be here in Lincoln. We, it's it's uh, pending the outcome of uh, the scooter. It's being looked at right now. And Josh and Peter, a couple attractive looking guys, as long as they probably showered, got the dirt off their face, and maybe homeboy shaves a bit. <laughs> what do you say? We try to hook you up with a young lady or two, obviously. This is our second interview on the radio today for 104.1 The Blaze. We were just at 102.7, I believe, here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Pete and I are having some fun. The people of Lincoln have been good to us. Oh, really? It's the belt and the barrier fan on our scooter. Um, the people who have it are in a different time zone. So I'm assuming they're in California, which means we might have a few more days here in Lincoln, Nebraska. From one end of the United States to the other, and we're halfway there. What scooter broke down, and you're going to spend some time in Lincoln? The one scooter we've been riding on broke down about 20 miles outside of Lincoln. We just got the phone call now, so we're going to be here about five more days until we oh, man. head into Omaha. And you're kidding me. You're not, you cannot get on the interstate. No, legally, you can't take a scooter on the interstate. Well, yeah, or potentially, if the scooter doesn't go, we might just need another scooter, which is a big thing to ask. <laughs> yes. But, uh, you know. Well, you know, you are lucky because Lincoln is the home of Kawasaki. They do make Kawasaki. Oh, is that right? I think they yeah. just make jet skis. Though, don't they? We're jet skiing across the United States. <laughs> <laughs> They'll let us know, you know, if you need some help because we can go on and uh, see if we can help you continue on your journey. Cops stop you at all? Couple, yeah. To take pictures of us. <laughs> yeah. Really? Ah! Well, Josh and Pete. Thank, Thank you. One Thank you end guys. of the United States to the other. It's 926 with James Dixon, 104 on the way. We are stuck in Lincoln. Yes. As you can see, Pete's beard has come in a little bit more. I've turned into a frat boy with my backwards hat. And we don't really know what to do about our scooter. It's been about seven days and we tried to get our scooter fixed. Someone looked at it and they ordered some parts thinking it was a couple things, but the parts don't fit that they ordered. And the parts that we need can only be found in China and they don't even know where in China uh, to find them because they don't sell any of our parts here in America.